Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is part 6 of this video series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the sign in API or you can say the login API. In the previous part, we had implemented the user email verification uh, by using a token uh, to the email which is provided by the user. So, if you have not uh, watched all the previous part, then I suggest you to please watch all these remaining five parts and then come back to this one. So let's start the video or uh, let's flip to the video studio as we have uh, completed the, but you cannot say that we have completed, we just implemented the sign up or register API and this is the code for uh, confirming the email. And now I will be requiring another thing. Uh, call it as a uh, login API so let's copy login API will be also a post also let's copy this one and paste it downside here move all the code from the body because we are going to write our own code here let's remove this and rename it as login now everything is looks good okay let's define the root for this uh, like root is login and we are required to change the parameter uh, let's also change this one register user we need to create a model for login like we have done with the uh, registered user similarly let's click uh, on this folder login and add a new class and let's rename it as login model so what we are going to pass through this model only the username and the password these are the only two fields which we are required for doing sign or login add the data annotation model all right and let's come back to the api and it requires uh, reference of this model now we are enough good uh, okay so the next step will be to add the configuration in the app setting so let's go to the app setting so in the app setting we are going to add a uh, config for the jwt token so this is the valid audience like uh, my angular front-end application so whatever your uh, client uh, url is you can add your client url I added my angular application URL with the default port is for 200 and the valid issuer is the same uh, you can say same uh, URL which is uh, when I run this application so this is the same URL this is a valid issuer and the secret key will be uh, this one so you can change uh, the secret key according to need so I created this one now let's flip to the authentication controller back and what we need to implement in the login method first we will be checking the user that you if user is present and then we will be checking the password that user password is valid if user exists and then check the password of that user if the use credentials are fine if credentials are fine then what we are going to do uh, we add role to the claim list let's click uh, create the claim list add the role to the list then generate the token 
generate the token with the claims and in the last we will be returning the token so this will be the process of uh, our login so let's start okay, so this is the code for which uh, we can check the user so this is the login model login model dot username so this line of code user manager dot find by name is sync so by this line of code we can find the user if we find the user then if user is not equal to null then we are gonna perform sub operation otherwise we are going to return unauthorized in case if user is not if user is null and now in the same condition we can check the password user manager dot uh user manager dot check password async and this takes uh two parameter user and the password so password is coming from the model all right so if your password is correct and user information is present in the database then we are going to write all the code here so we have checked the user let's check the password now it's time to create a claim list okay so i created a, a variable auth claim is equals to new list claim let's add the security system dot security dot claim and for this class let's add system dot identity model dot token dot jwt now it's fine so we have created the claim list now let's add the role so first we need to find the role okay. for this user we have uh, whatever roles we have this will be getting in inside this object and we how we can find by this built in method so you can have a look that we don't have to write a code for finding the name in the database checking the password from the database or getting all the role fetching from there so we don't write any logic we are just consuming or write, uh, using the method which is provided by the identity so this is uh, how our work goes easier when we use identity so we get all the roles related to the user for which we have provided the credentials now let's iterate this because we may have more than one roles so let's provide this here and that's it and now add uh, this line of code auth claim dot add new claim and claim type is role and we are adding the role to the claim so we are done with this also now it's time to generate the token uh, so for generating the token it's better to create a private method uh let's come down here private and okay i'm pasting the complete method right so this is the method to generate uh, the token but before that we need the configuration let's go upside here and add the i configuration now you can have a look that the configuration error has been removed and let's add microsoft identity model dot token and for the encoding system dot text what is happening we have added a few uh, configuration in the app setting so this line of code is picking that configuration from the app setting issuer name is getting fetched from the app setting audience is getting fetched from the and the expiry date is 3 hours let's minimize this to the 1 hour and all the claims is uh, getting here and sign in credential or sign in key and this is the algorithm 
for generating the code. So you don't have to change anything. Just uh, write the code same as it. Now it's time to call this method here. Var JWT token is equals to we are calling this method, and you need to provide the list of claims. So we have generated this here, and let's provide. We have generated the token. Now it's time to uh, return it. And there you go. So we have written this. And now let's run this application. All right. So let's create a new user and then we can check the login. Let's make it as admin. Name it as Salman. and provide my email id and let's provide the password abcd at the rate salman Let's make it as so you can have a look that uh, user created an email sent to the this email. Let's check in the table. Yeah, the user has been created, but email confirmed is not confirmed. Let's confirm the email. Yes, you can have a look that we have received this token or confirmation email. Uh, so let's click this uh, hyperlink or token to verify your email. So we received the message that email verified successfully. Let's check in the database. Yeah, our email is being verified. Now let's check it out that we can do the login or not. So this is the password. Let's copy the payload we can provide in the login and let's remove email giving me the 400 error What's the reason of getting 400 error uh, You can have a look that uh, the JWT token is being issued and this is the expiration. So we will be uh, using this token to uh, authenticate or authorize the API. So let's uh, continue this in the next video. See you in the next video. Take care. Love.